Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Griffin and I'm a filmmaker based out of Orange County, California. And today we're here at my church, Harvest, and we're gonna be doing some filming for them. But I wanna take you guys on a quick little van tour. So I know I kind of posted about that I got the van and I wanna just do a little quick walkthrough and I'll show you guys a little bit of what we got going on. All right, so this is a 2017 Ford Transit, 130 inch wheelbase, so it's the shortest wheelbase, and it's the mid-roof, so it's not the highest, it's not the shortest either. The reason I chose this van is it's pretty maneuverable, like a 130 inch wheelbase, it basically drives like a big SUV, so it doesn't feel like you're driving a school bus. And the mid-roof is cool because it's tall enough for normal sized people to stand in. I'm 6'5", so I can't stand in there but a lot of people can stand up in there, which is cool. And it makes it for me a nice, easy working height where I'm not bent over like a giraffe at the watering hole. Another cool thing with this height is it's not too tall to go through the majority of drive through So when I'm hitting Starbucks or In-N-Out, it still works. So it's the important things. One of the cool things that I want to do with the van is I wanted to put a fridge in here. This is the fridge I had from camping. So this is the Dometic CFX 345 fridge. Uh, it's cool. It's uh, set to 37 degrees, but you keep your water, Gatorades, whatever you want in there as well as some snacks. So on a nice hot day like today, once you finish shooting, you can always come replenish at the van. It's kind of nice. We're really sort of on like V1 of the van. It's very much in its beginner stages of the build. But if you come on this way, right now I kind of have everything just sort of thrown in, which is very like not ideal. But what I'm gonna be doing is installing some L-Track along the sides and the floors to basically bolt all this stuff down. But for now, I just have it bolted to the partition. Swinging around to the back of the van, So one of the main reasons why I wanted to get the van was I wanted to leave my innovative cart, which is the innovative Voyager NXT 42 inch cart. I want to leave this built all the time. So basically I could show up to any job, wheel my cart right out, it's fully built, and it's got all the stuff on it. So for me, that's kind of a, I hate to use the word, but a bit of a game changer in a way. So the way it works with the cart and the ramp is I just have these two pins. I pull these pins out. These are safety pins to keep the, the ramp in place. This guy slides out. And then you've got the, the ramp ready to go and you can just wheel the cart right out. And I just have that tied down with a couple of ratchet straps. So on the cart, I just generally have like three or four C-stands, 60 inch light dome. Uh, this is like a six by scrim. Got my Pelican uh, 1535, which is my audio kit. Right behind that, I've got an Aperture 300D. Right behind that, I've got a 600D. Up top, I usually keep the cameras and I'll pull those out at night. I won't leave them in here, but I will keep those basically fully built and just kind of strapped down when we're traveling. So when I first got this van, it was a, just a totally empty shell. There was like, the walls were completely unfinished, fully exposed. I took it over to my friend Brendan at Gone Mobile Vans in Costa Mesa. He actually hooked it up with, uh, he did Dynamat and then 3M insulation. So it keeps the temperature a little bit more regulated and also kind of helps with the noise a little bit too. So on the sides of the van, and keep in mind I'm a giant, so that's why I can't stand up in here. With these panels here, basically what that does is it prevents anything like a C-stand from knocking against the van because it's really just kind of thin sheet metal. So if it bumps against the side of the van, it's gonna put a huge dent or even a hole in your van. So these panels are pretty durable. They can take a beating, which is kind of nice. So over here on this side, uh, what I have planned for this side is I'm going to be doing some fold down shelves. I ordered them like five weeks ago, but they take forever to get here because shipping delays and whatnot. But what's kind of cool is it's these shelves that can perfectly hold like a Pelican 1510 or like one of the aperture cases. And those will fold down from the side right here. And they're, they're just not in stock, but I'll for sure be doing some more like build updates on the channel. So kind of stick around. If you're interested in van builds or video production, uh, consider hitting the subscribe button. So up front, I put a two and a half inch lift kit because it has nothing to do with video production, but I just think it looks cool. And I put some bigger wheels and tires. These are the BFG KO2s and uh, I think they're 245, 75, 16s. And then the rims are, uh, I think they're called Black Rhino Havasus. I think it kind of changed the look of the van. Like when I first got it, it had these little stock wheels and tires that just, I don't know, kind of looked more like an Amazon delivery truck. So, you know what? Like my dad used to always say, when you're looking good, you're feeling good. When you're feeling good, you're doing good. So 
that's kind of something I try to embody, you know? Which brings us to the sponsor of this video, Cuts Clothing. Super cool, the guys from Cuts Clothing reach out to me. I always try to keep my style kind of minimal, basic. Anytime I'm on a job, you probably know I like to wear like a black shirt, like nice and clean. Uh, one thing I really like about these Cuts Clothing, two things really, is one, on a hot day like today, they actually keep you kind of cool. It's like nice, thin material, pretty breathable. And two, it's like uh, they're drop cuts, so they fit well. So for tall guys like me, it kind of doesn't like uh, come up too short. I think there's like a code in the description, so if you're interested in using that, feel free to check that out. Hopping into the front of the van, it's like a little messy, like we're literally, we're about to go film our job, the real job, in a minute, uh, if you want to swing around this way. I got this phone mount from ProQuip USA. It's pretty cool, it's like super rock solid, holds the phone really well. The stereo, I upgraded that as well. So head unit is a Sony, I think it's like an AVX 1000 or something like that. But it's cool, it's got Apple CarPlay. And then the stock one, like I couldn't even connect my phone to it. Another thing I did was upgrade the rear view mirror. The rear view mirror basically looks back at nothing because there's no windows in the van. So I upgraded this one so it's a, there's a camera in the back and it's always on. So it's actually similar to a regular rear view mirror where you can see, see behind you. Um, and know if there's cars coming. So that's kind of nice. It also records, it's got a front camera and a back camera. So it'll record all the time. So if you ever like say, got in an accident, heaven forbid, you would have that recorded to a little micro SD card. As for the rest of the stereo, I went ahead and put four speakers in. So there's two up front and then there's two up top in the headliner. And those are Focal speakers. Those are powered by, uh, I think it's a, it's a JBL amp. I'll put the, whatever the number is on the screen. And then I've got a, Alpine sub in there too, just because I'm like a high schooler and I like to bump my music, so. <laughs> uh, last thing up front that I kind of already mentioned was the partition. So I looked at a lot of videos online when I was kind of doing the, the start of my van build. Uh, Rob Machado's got a great one. The guys from Threefold have a great one. There's a dude called the Cranky Cameraman who's also got a really good one too. But I probably watched them like 60 times. Oh, and then I can't forget there's like a super epic Ford Transit build from, uh, oh, I don't know, I feel bad I'm forgetting, but it's super cool. Anyways, there, I drew a lot of inspiration from these guys and everybody was talking about using a partition so all your cargo doesn't fly forward and hit you when you're driving if you slam on the brakes. So the one I got, it was kind of more of a basic one. Yeah, happy we got that installed. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed that quick little walk around of the van. Uh, like I said, this is very much the, uh, the V1 beginning stages of it. I got a lot of cool things planned. Uh, we're doing a lot more in the cargo section next uh, with my friend from Gone Mobile Vans, Brendan. Uh, but we're doing some l track in there. We're putting the shelves in. Also might be doing a roof rack up top with some perimeter lighting and a couple other cool upgrades. So if you're interested in van stuff or video production, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.